Hello everyone, welcome back. And this is the eighth part of our car modeling tutorial. This is the last part of the series and we'll finish it by modeling the headlight of the car. Okay, so let me just go ahead and right click and choose edge. Double click on this um, edge that is inside so that it selects all the edge loop. Okay, so I'm going to press uh, shift and right click and choose fill hole. Okay, shift right click and choose fill hole. Good, so that fills the hole, but we need to create the shape of that headlight. Okay, so let me just go ahead and right click and choose face. Select the face. I'll go ahead and scale this. Now, if you're wondering how I did that tool, uh, the shortcut key is R. So if you press W, you get move tool if you press e you get rotate tool and if you press r you'll get the scale tool looking good and now um, let me just go ahead and shift right click and choose extrude here so i can just extrude it out and i'm just going to scale it something like that uh, let's check how it looks when i press three okay that's not bad okay so let's try to add some more definition here um, just gonna take the outside, stretch it out a bit. Okay, so I can add one uh, division in between here. I can just go ahead and press shift right click and choose insert edge loop tool. Just add an edge loop here and scale it. Um, actually, I just wanna bring it out. So I'll press uh, W to get the move tool. And I'm just going to uh, I'll try these two axes. I'll pull it up a little bit and then pull it um, in Z axis. Okay. So that adds a little bit of thickness out here. Okay, looking good. Now, uh, let me just select this face, make it a bit more smaller. Okay, and um, I should have done this when I had that. Um, Okay, that looking, that's looking good. I'll go ahead and press shift, right click and extrude once again. And this time, let me just scale it flat. Okay, and I'll make it smaller, pull it out. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and press three once again and see, that's perfect. Okay, so now all we need to do is we need to connect these uh, different parts uh, inside just to avoid that multi-edged face. Okay, so let me just go ahead and select these pieces. Actually, I can select all these just to round that shape. Okay looking good and now all I have to do is just use my split polygon tool I'll use shift I'll press shift key right click and choose multi cut tool and I'll go ahead and click here and here is that correct no um, no from here to here press enter okay and then from here to here Good. So now the, the point is we need to have a four sided faces. Okay, so here you have one, two, three, four. Here you have one, two, three, four. Here you have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Perfect. So let me just select this middle one and I can just push it slightly up so that we have a nice result there. Looking good. Okay, so with that, we will finish this tutorial series. Now, if you want to create more detailed stuff, you can do that by doing more extrudes, or you can also uh, apply some nice textures through the textures. You can create uh, the windows details and the headlights and other stuff. And you can also try to hide this uh, inside areas just by doing some extrude. Okay, just simply extrude and you can push it inside so that you can also hide these areas uh, that are under the car okay so hope this tutorial is useful to you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed 
You can also visit my website, that's reese3d.com. So as always, like, share, and happy learning. Thank you.